Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for a special video today. Today is a fluid art experience collaboration. Now, don't know what fluid art experience is? That is the uh, event that I am going to be attending in Dallas, Texas this November 17th, 18th, and 19th. If you want to come and learn how to Dutch pour live in person with me, come and see me in Dallas, Texas. However, there's going to be other artists there as well. Um, so check out the website fluidartexperience.com for information, for tickets, there's going to be some amazing events in the evening. There are galas, rap parties, Q and A's, uh, chance to win prizes. Prizes, you say? Yes. Do you know why? Because this painting I am making today is going to be at the event and it is going to be raffled off to a lucky winner. So if you want a chance to win this piece or other pieces from the other artists, head on over, come and see us in Dallas, Texas, buy your tickets. There's only about three weeks left, so time is running out. All right, I'm gonna get started today. And today I am working on a 15 by 30 inch canvas. And I'm going to be doing a piece that was pretty popular a while back that I had done these colors and this color split. And I'm gonna do it again and a color split is something I am going to be teaching at the event. So let me get started. My base is going to be Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And the top half of my split is going to be Titanium White by Amsterdam. If you are watching and you are new watching and you want to know how I mix my paints for the base and all the colors in my squeeze bottles, head on over to video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who want to know how I mix my paints for the perfect consistency of a Dutch pour. All right, colors I'm using today are Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. Then I have Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Then I have Iridescent Blue Black by Pebeo. Then I've got Thalo Blue by Amsterdam, followed by Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo, and then some Pearl Royal Purple by Arteza, and topping it off, Indanthrene Blue by Holbein. Those are my colors. Going to be using the flower hair dryer. So let's get started color split. This is something I'm going to be teaching at the event. So let me flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, the canvas is flooded. Let's get going. So I'm going to start with my metallic cobalt blue. I rarely use this color and I don't know why because it's such a gorgeous color. So I'm going to go along my split here and I'm going to add a wispy down this way and a wispy up that way. There we go. So I'm super excited. I've been counting down the days. Um, I can't wait to meet all my fellow artists. That's one of the very exciting things um, I'm looking forward to is meeting everybody. Like, I mean, we talk, you know, online, we see each other's videos, this and that, but I've never actually met these folks in person. So I'm super excited uh, to go there. I'm super excited to meet my students who have signed up. If you have not signed up yet, you know, head on over to the website, choose a class, come and see me. There's going to be all kinds of fun stuff happening. Um, you know, learn how to do a Dutch pour on a white base or a black base or a color split base like this. 
So pick and choose what you want to learn. But come and see me. This is probably the only time I'm ever coming to Texas. So if you're in Texas or around in Texas and you've always wanted to learn in person from me, now is your chance because I don't think I'll be going back. So come and visit us. Like I said, there are all kinds of fun events on the Thursday night, the Friday night, the Saturday night. There is going to be some fun stuff, dinners, there's going to be raffles. Like I said, you have the opportunity to win this piece in the raffle. So this is one of my most popular pieces. I've done many pieces and commissions in these colors for clients. So, all right, last color. There's a lot of paint on here, lots of paint on here. All right, all the colors are down. I'm going to get rid of this blue fleck. There we go, the rest is fine. And as I stuck my finger in the black paint, uh, torch the bubbles. It's been a while since I've done a Dutch pour. I did the wood panel last time. I've been doing so many blooms lately. I'm having so much fun learning and practicing the blooms. I'm really enjoying that. All right, so I'm gonna start here, blow into my negative space and continue working my way out. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I love it. There was so much paint on here, but I made it work. I love, love, love this. I don't like that white spot there, so I'm going to eliminate it by simply touching my finger, skimming my finger on the top of the paint, and it'll get rid of it. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness, I love this. Ooh, someone's gonna be lucky and win this. Now, I'm wondering if I should blow this out a little more <clears throat> that way. And then this has a hard line right here, which I don't like. So let's see here. I'm going to try the hair dryer and just blow a little bit over there. Okay, much better, perfect, done with that. Now with my mouth, I'm gonna blow just a little bit here. There, I wanted it rounded. So that's it, I, that's it. I don't think I'm touching anything else. Oh, this is perfect. I love it. Wait till you see the close up and all the cells and everything. Okay, so I'm going to fix up my edges. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So here we go now. I have already gone ahead and scraped my drips. Do not forget to scrape your drips. 
Now, check out this beautiful color split. Look at that streak of purple in there, which is, by the way, going to shimmer because it is a pearl by Arteza. So once dry, that is going to shimmer nicely. All right, so this is what it looks like with the lights on. Let's check it on with the flash. All right, so the flash is on, although you probably can't tell, but there is going to be some serious shimmer happening in this painting because I've got the pearls, the iridescence by Pebeo, lots of shimmer happening in here. So don't forget after this video, after you watch my video, we're going to head on over to Jessica from Winterstrom Art and she's next in the lineup. And there you have it, everybody. I would love to know what you guys think about this piece in the comments below. Uh, I would say it's available for purchase, but it's not because it is going to be raffled off and a lucky winner is going to win this at the Fluid Art Experience. So check us out. Check out the information, fluidartexperience.com. Uh, check out all the information, prices, everything fun that is happening, all the other artists that are going to be there. Check it out. Come and see me. Come and Dutch pour with me. It'll be a lot of fun, I promise. So that is it for me for now. Um, we are now going to head on over to Jessica from Winterstrom Art, and let's go check out what she's being uh, going to be doing. So that is it for me for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.